Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we're going to talk about the case against Tesla inventory discounts. Are we pretty much maxed out at how much discounts they're actually going to be this month? We'll take a look at inventory account and we'll take a look at one Tesla analyst and why he may be thinking that we could be max out for the end of the quarter and we could be going to hit a certain number of sales no matter what. So we're going to talk about that. Plus we've got two giveaways running on the channel right now. One grand giveaway where we're paying your Tesla payments. Details in the comments on down below. And also we've got a weekly giveaway for 3D all weather floor mats. So we're going to take a look at that plus a variety of topics. But before we do that, let's roll that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to my latest Patreon members, Fat, Alex, Karan, and Dane, thank you for supporting. If you want to check it out, Patreon link down below in the description. So let us take a look at this. Shout out to Gary Black for posting this. Quote, biggest Tesla upside opportunities to me are, number one, Tesla not resorting to cutting prices as we end the fourth quarter. That increases my conviction that auto gross margins have bottom. So Gary Black, and I feel like what Gary might be referring to is that Tesla in previous months or even previous quarters this year, they would drop the price of the MSRP price pretty significantly. And they most recently did that one, did a price cut not that long ago, especially if you look at the Tesla Model Y. There was a price increase of $500 on the all-wheel drive, but there was a $2,000 price cut for the performance and long-range all-wheel drive on October 5th of 2023, which was actually the first month of the third quarter. So it does appear that Tesla did not make any sort of price ch changes since that, but they've certainly ramped up inventory discounts. So as you know on the channel, we talk about what the actual price that you're paying for the Tesla vehicles are. And that's where we see anywhere from two to three, maybe even $5,000 off actual transaction prices for purchasing a Tesla. So it certainly is getting pretty aggressive out there. So then even though Gary is correct, they've not changed cutting prices on the MSRP side, they certainly are changing inventory prices out there. And so certainly is that's a strategy in Tesla's back pocket. And that might start to increase as we get to the end of the month, especially if we take a look at inventory charts for the Model 3 and the Model Y as inventory keeps ramping up and stays, I guess, unchanged with these most recent price cuts. You can see right here, Model 3 three is the pink line. It's starting to decrease because that is actually starting to become a valuable deal, especially for some people that can get the tax credit. But Model Y inventory is still staying pretty high. It's not like it, it doesn't look like it's been changed at all in terms of inventory count. It's still saying at most, with that most recent inventory increase. So maybe there could be more incentives in the near future. Number two, though, is halo effect from huge cyber truck interest. Remember in essence of 2020 Model Y intro. This should translate to increased US order flow for Model 3 Y, S, and X. So what Gary is saying, because there's so much hype right now with the Cybertruck, there's a lot of eyeballs on it. It's Gary is saying that because of that, because of those impressions, that will translate to sales of other Tesla vehicles. But I'm not too exactly sure on that. I mean, certainly if it was a Halo vehicle that looked like the other vehicles, like if there was a bottle Model 2 or Model 3 Cyber that look just like a baby Cybertruck or something to that effect, then I could see that. And maybe Gary's right. Maybe we're just, you know, spitballing here and we have we don't make any sort of state. But at the end of the day, there's probably a percentage of people 
out there that saw the Cybertruck, maybe saw the Tesla Cybertruck at the store in person, maybe walked into a Model 3 or Model Y, and then they saw the lease payment of $300 and it trickled down to that. So I can certainly see how that could play an effect. And Tesla probably knows this as well. And that's why they've probably been a little bit quiet on the incentive side. I mean, they certainly are doing inventory discounts, but they haven't ramped up any sort of other promotions in the re recent uh, in the recent past. Like I'm talking last year, they were adding like 10,000 supercharger miles plus 3750 discount and then ramping up to $7,500 discount. But of course, that was a different time completely last year. And so maybe I still feel like there's an inkling with me that Tesla's holding some incentives till the end, maybe the mid month or even the second or third week of the month this year to try and see if they've got to hit a certain number. Number three, 7,500 EV tax rate will go off invoice on January 1st. This is equivalent to a 7,500 price cut on Model Y, Model 3 Performance, Model X, and Cybertruck. Model 3 rear-wheel drive and Model 3 long range will receive the equivalent of a 3,750 price cut. This is exactly talking about the EV tax credit, the 7,500. And because it becomes a point of sale discount next year, certainly he is adding that to the upside opportunities for Tesla. But that does hurt Tesla in the near term, especially this month, especially if Tesla's looking to hit a big number for sales at the end of this month. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Do you think a price cut is pretty much over or do you think one is coming in the near future? Because I asked a poll the other day. Where did I put it? It was here somewhere. Maybe I deleted it already, but I put a poll here. No, actually right here. I asked, do you think a price drop is happening tonight? Because traditionally price drops do happen on Thursdays in the past or historically and an overwhelming 42% actually said no way. 38% were hopeful like I was thinking yep but uh, a lot of people thought that it was not going to be happening yesterday. So if it's not happening yesterday or today maybe it will happen next week but also it could happen by the end of tonight. Maybe you'll see me later tonight because typically in terms of time frame it does happen at about 9 p.m pacific but Definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, we've got two giveaways on the channel running right now. If you're interested in winning uh, the grand giveaway, which we are actually paying your Tesla payment, sponsored by Tenant EV Financing. Uh, so definitely check out Tenant, which is a approved Tesla financing partner for financing your Tesla. Thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video, this giveaway, and a bunch of videos this month. And we've got another giveaway on the channel with 3D Mats USA for an all weather the floor mat set for your Model 3 or Model Y. Definitely hit the link in the chat. I think I can think I can share it here if you're interested in entering into one or both of these giveaways. The the grand giveaway, the paying your Tesla payment ends at the end of this month. Multiple entries are allowed. And the 3D Mats USA All Weather Floor Mat giveaway actually ends this coming Sunday where we end it and we kick off another giveaway because we're doing every week there's going to be a giveaway this month. So thank you to everybody that's jumped in here supports hit the like button the comments and everything tesla 54 thanks for coming in not sure if i should buy model 3 performance now or wait